Hello, and welcome to Centurion's Community Customer Corner, episode three. Three weeks already in the making. That's amazing. And you guys have been showing off your work to me and your inspirations and everything like that. It's been absolutely great. And I just kind of thought that doing 13 sort of customs last week, I don't get enough to talk about your works of art. And I'm kind of trying to cram it into those that 20 minutes because it's only so long you can actually hide in the toilet. But um, yeah, so I'm going to sort of bring it down a bit. We're only going to do 10. And if it doesn't get shown this week, it'll tumbleweed over to the next. And then again, and then again, and again. So we've got a bit of a back pack there. And I can actually sort of pick and choose a little bit as well. So we don't get too many Mandalorians, and too many clones, and too many of one type custom and stuff like that. So it's just to give you guys a little bit of a show as well. And yeah, I mean, what a week. You know, like you guys are sort of like gaining followers and I hope you're gaining followers as well through this because it's all about you guys it's just for us to actually show off what we can do and inspire other people as well and then like last week we had a few people customizing purely just for the show I mean which is amazing I think you know so kudos to everyone that's taken part and well done and tap yourself on the back so straight away we'll just go straight into it we know there's no top five top ten whatnot it's just people just showing that work off and we'll just get straight into it and straight away it's OK Photographs with his 327th Battalion 3.75 Clone Trooper and it's in brilliant white and yellow with those stripes coming down you know like there's no sort of colour bleed and all that it just looks the lines on there look perfect and for something for this size that's great and he don't care He's, he's part of the 327th Battalion. He's out there in bright yellow in green grass and he's blasting those battle droids to high hill. So, well done mate. Keep up that good work because that is brilliant. And next up, we have Wiley's Customs and he's created Phase 2 Commander Fox. And, you know, seeing this guy's transition off the clones, where he's got a Captain Rex, stripped him right down, and then taken the head from a Commander Cody, plonk that on there, put it together. Even before you even made the character, you can see that it's already there. And he's just painted it up, like, amazingly. That red, and like, there's no colour bleed or anything on there. It just looks great. And it's just enough weathering on there not to take away from that gorgeous figure. And this bit annoys me, really, because that head and that body, Hasbro have already. They could make this and distribute it to the world. But no, this guy's made it in his little warehouse and he's got an awesome one. You know, so come on Asbro, hurry up. If not, Wiley, you've got some more commissions coming, mate, because that is awesome. So next up after that, we've got Believe I Can Bly. And again, clones again. But he's got phase two. And I kind of looked at this first and I went, oh, he's made Commander Bly. And then I was like, no, he hasn't. He's made the four battalions kind of like classes out of Battlefront 2. We've got the heavy, we've got the assault, we've got the officer, and we've got the sniper. Like just these little guys here, that's a little squad that are gonna literally blast you to high hell. That lot there is amazing. And Battlefront 2, if you're not playing it, go and play it again, because there's a new update. That is brilliant. So thanks again, Bly. That, just those little pack of squad guys there, that would be, amazing sitting on the shelf and your paint work on those as well and I've been watching you on Instagram over the time as well and it's you, every time you do a custom it gets better so keep up mate it's good and next up after that we've got Star Wars figures for life and this one is just literally he's made a custom pilot and this is kind of what I want to get into because there's a lot of pilots out there because I love that phase one helmet it's brilliant you know so he's blue so part of 501st we could make him you know we could give him a new name and, and whatnot but yeah, again, it's like, this is that inspiration of people where they, they've got an idea of a character in their head that they want to create and bring it into the Star Wars verse, or even just into their own little Star Wars verse on their shelf. But now we get a chance just to show you guys off. And again, his paintwork and all that on there, top notch. So well done, mate. Well done. And then we got SW Customs. And yeah, I mean, what can we say about this? We've got a Mando. Mandalorian and again it's my favorite color red and it's just well it's like it's a really good red color on that kind of sort of like under sort of like jumpsuit of that grayness it just pops 
just comes right out. And the thing I love about this as well is where it's not just a Boba Fett kind of sort of like tease over clone, like it's just a, a repaint. It's actually got like some custom club as well. So, I mean, what this guy gets up to, you know, bashing out people's brains with that thing, it looks amazing, mate. So, well done. And the paint, you know, like your photo effects as well, the smoke and all that, you know, it just brings that character out and it really pops that red as well. So, well done, mate. And we got the friend of the show, uh, who's like a weekly guest, I guess, which is uh, DIY Star Wars dioramas, and he's made the Obi Wan's hut. Now it's another little diorama that this guy's made, and looking at it, it just looks like a model. You know, like it's just if you see it from the one side, and that's what I like about these dioramas, where one side it looks like it's just a little house, it just looks like a little hut, and you can look at it and say, yeah, that's Obi Wan's house. But turn it around and you can see the inside where this character lives and it's done where it's like, you know those kind of sort of, uh, those books that you get and it's kind of like, it shows you the internal parts of the structure but also the outside, it kind of looks like it's sort of gone see-through. And it looks like he's created it in sort of 3D world. I mean, just all those little bits and we've got the table, you know, oh, it's brilliant. You know, well done, mate. Like, keep up those dioramas because they're getting better and better. And next up is collecting stuff, and he's made Neo. Uh, so, yeah, another clone, another one that goes straight to my heart, and a very popular choice is Neo. And he's got the straps. We've got the little uh, icon on there, and also we've got like the custom-made helmet. Uh, it just looks splendid. And we've got the Phase Two version of him and the Phase One helmets at the bottom. And you know, so you can just change it up on the shelf. So, I mean, I'll probably get three bodies. So I could have one of each, but uh, again, you know, mate, that looks splendid and well done because that looks like an actual official figure. So well done, mate. And next up, we got Resistance Eight Two Seven. Now he's made a Tobias Beckett from Mimban, and uh, yeah, like looking at this here, it just looks like a shot off out of the movie. You know, just just a quick sort of glance at it, it just looks movie photo realistic. And you guys that make customs and do these photos, wow, well done, mate. You know, I, what I love about this Tobias Beckett as well is like where well, he's got all the armor and stuff on there, and I just love that scorch blaster mark there in his armor, where it is the second hand thing, obviously where he shot the guy originally, and now he's put on that armor. Because normally, you know, like the stormtroopers in A New Hope, like how did they kill him? Because they got clean armor straight away. But yeah, that Tobias Beckett bullet hole right there, mate. Brilliant, absolutely love it and just the custom is great. And we have Mr. Jedi, 1977, and I'm gonna murder this name. He's made another Biff Sith, but it's not any other Biff Sith. He's Darth Ten Tenebaros, Tenebaros. You can all laugh at the way I try and pronounce, but sometimes these Star Wars names. But apparently he is the Sith master over Darth Plagueis, also from the book. So this Darth Plagueis book had two Sith Biffs. What's that about? Did they give up and go and make a band? But here he is. I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't actually read like his the inscription of what this character looks like. But this guy's paid so much attention to the detail that I can imagine it's probably a, a like for like. So again, mate, well done. And that's using your noggin and stuff like that just to build that build that figure up. So, mate, again, well done. And then we go into last but no means least is figure posts, and he created this figure and he sent it to me and I was just like, yeah what, you know, what about it? I thought it was a Black Series 501st figure, and uh, it was like, and then I had a more of a look at it than I could see that it was a Bandai. So this was a shiny Bandai kit that is actually painted the 501st colours on it. You know, even though it's not a, a massive custom where he's added all these doobies on there, it's just literally just painted it into another regiment clone. But it's not about that. It's actually about the lines and just the paint marks on there and it, you know, just a bit of the weathering and stuff on there. You know, again, that is brilliant work. That is, that's amazing. Those lines, just the neat cut of it. It's no bleeding or anything like that. Mate, splendid work and really, really, really well done. And that brings me to the end of the uh, Community Custom Corner this week. Guys, please like and follow these people. The description down below has all their links on there to go to straight to their Instagram so you can follow them straight away. So please 
if you feel inspired, if you want to just follow these guys on their travels, because this ain't going to be their own customs, they're going to be making more and they've got plenty on there to show as well. And it'll give you ideas on how to do them yourself if you want to look into that. So again, thank you so much. So do that for us. And now we're just going to head over to the news. I'll see you in a moment. The news. So the news this week is coming quite thick and fast. A bit similar to the Rise of Skywalker trailer where we've got those superstar destroyers just coming in and it's just coming in by the bucket load. So the news today is again all thanks to Yakface. Uh, they put a post up on Instagram saying please stop stealing our content. So another big shout out for them and their description is down below. You can follow, well it's in the description down below and you can follow them on Instagram. So first up, well we've got two Lukes for the price of one and one come out of nowhere. So last week we had a rumour that there's going to be a Return of the Jedi Luke and yeah I mean here he is. He's got his Jabba outfit kind of on. He's got that cloth cape and uh, he's got the blaster that he nicked off Jabba's guard. He's got his lightsaber and he's got that kind of purpley pink robe. I know especially like a grey black but to me it always looks a little bit reminiscent of a purple colour. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a vinyl kind of rubbery material that I can easily maybe cut off. Um, but if it's not, I'll probably still get it. But it's just, I'm hoping. But we've got to wait for a decent picture until we can tell. And the other Luke we've got is a ceremonial Luke, uh, which is going to be a European Comic Con exclusive. Um, so I don't really know too much into that. But I mean, we've got a Comic Con coming in MCM up in London. Uh, end of October, so hopefully he might be there. I might try and pick one up. And yeah, he comes with a blaster, his gun, seeker droid, the training mask. It's even got like a blast effect and Obi Wan's journal as well, which is reminiscent to the comic that it's based on. But it's also a reminiscence of a New Hope as well. So, and I love that outfit. I've always loved that outfit for Luke. And I think it was the original kind of concept art for Luke when it was Star Killer. So uh, yeah, brilliant. Love it. So we also got a closer look this week at a Mandalorian. So we've got them out of the packages and then we've got them in their kind of sort of battle poses and stuff and a closer up of their face. So that's the Mandalorian. And then we also got a closer look at a Jawa. You know, he looks pretty good. He looks quite articulated. So I'm kind of glad that they got the cloth on there as the other one looked quite rigid. I haven't got the original Jawa, but it just kind of looked like it was like a one joint in the middle. And we also got Cal from Jedi Fallen. And yeah, I mean, the detail on this guy, I love him. And his little droid as well. Like, uh, everything on that, you know, it's, not, it's definitely another purchase from me. And we've got Ray. Uh, a bit of close-up on her face as well. Do you know what? I think this Ray doesn't look like Ray. Unless she's got a little bit of Botox going on and her face has got rounder. But I think the, uh, was it the Jedi training or the... Uh, one where she's got the poncho from the, in the previous one that I just only just reviewed. I think her face is a lot better than this one. It just looks a little bit strange, like she's sort of changed like nationality. And well, we've got Kylo Ren. Um, yeah, it's Kylo Ren. I mean, I do get a bit bored of the outfit. We've got this new sort of kind of black bit in there, but you know, that cape and all that looks really cumbersome. But the other pose with him holding that lightsaber down. That looks brilliant. Uh, I think I'll be posing my Kylo Ren in that pose because that looks great. That looks brilliant. And also, last but not least, we have the second sister, and she looks amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Like that's definitely look. I think it's probably like she's gone from probably maybe second or third to this to maybe the top. I think she might be outperforming the Mandalorian at this point because she looks great. And also. There was the Sith Trooper, but I thought there's no point putting the Sith Trooper up there because he's been around tenfold already and everyone knows what he looks like, but he's only got two accessories now. He's got like the little blaster, kind of sort of submachine gun version and his normal sort of like blaster rifle that they always sort of come with. But it's also now been confirmed that there's exclusives out there. So for Amazon, they're getting a carbonized Sith Trooper and he kind of looks a bit chromey. He looks quite shiny. So unless there's going to be one version like this in the film, then cool. 
If there isn't, then this one I'll just leave on the shelf because I'm not really interested in kind of colour schemes and stuff. But then also following in this suit is the Carbonize Mandalorian and he's going to be the Target exclusive. So again, if this is not part of the actual thing and it's just a colour thing, I'm not, I'm not fussed. You know, I'd leave that on the shelf easily. You know, if I get the original and that's fine, that's how he looks. And this one's because he's shiny, then no. Uh, and also the Walmart is the Jet Trooper. So what, he's not going to be glossy to begin with? You know, it's just, I don't know why they're saying he's carbonized, but yeah. But then I'm not too sure on this figure either. So I wouldn't want two versions of him, I don't think. And this, I'll get the, the figure and he's completely different and he's going to look good. But to be honest, I'm a bit iffy with this Jet Trooper. And GameStop are getting the second sister. Uh, so she's going to be more glossy, which to be honest, might be quite cool. Maybe, you know, if the other one's a bit matte black and this one's going to be very glossy then maybe this one might be the better version to buy than the other one. So out of the four, I think that one's gonna be the better one to go for. And what do you think? You can comment down below. So guys, that's kind of the end of the news. I'm gonna put a couple more ones here. So if you, well, some of these figures might spoil things for you. So I will see you later. But if you wanna stay, then stay. So you've been warned. Are you ready? We're going for it. So. Not really big thing. We got the Cara Doom, so she's another character from uh, Jedi Fallen, and no, she's not. She's from uh, Mandalorian. There's too much coming out, so yeah, she looks alright. Just another character to add to the shelf, which is pretty cool. Another sort of backgroundy type sort of person. We don't know obviously too much about her, a bounty hunter probably, but um, yeah, another character, and she looks good. She looks like the actress. So that's good. Uh, so for Jedi Fallen, we've got the Purge Trooper looking fine and dandy in black and red. He's got the skirt. It's very reminiscent of the original kind of airborne trooper. As we said last week, he's got that helmet of the clone trooper. We've got the skirt and we've got the pauldron. And it just all those little black bits just flick out just really nice. And then we've got Jaina Rosie. Rosie. And she is from obviously Jedi uh, Rise of the Skywalker. Sorry, there's too much stuff coming out. And yeah, she right. She looks like the actress. Obviously, we don't know much about her. I mean, she looked quite friendly with Finn in the trailer. So maybe it's another love interest for Finn. Seems to be getting about. And last but no least, we did have a C3PO red eyes maybe being confirmed. And we got this C3PO. And when I first saw it. I thought, uh, it says it comes with Baba Frick, which I just thought, Baba Frick, who's that? Then I saw this little picture and I thought, oh, it comes with a baby Ewok. No, it's a new character and he seems to have Chewbacca's bowcaster and bandolier. And I'm a little bit scared for Chewbacca because if this is kind of hinting that he's going to be, then I'm going to be a little bit upset. And I'll definitely be upset if C3PO picks up his bowcaster and starts blasting everyone to high heaven. Might be quite cool, but I'd imagine it's going to be a bit of a Yoda jumping around a lightsaber kind of moment. But it's another figure, and I suppose it's going to be the new C3PO with the new sort of arm movement and stuff on there. So it's something to look out for. And unless they're going to go for like a, a rocket slash group type thing with this little guy sitting on his arm and he's going around with his bow cast and then I have no idea what they're going to be doing but guys thanks again for joining us and keep those community submissions coming to me you can comment down below follow me on Instagram and please follow everyone that you've seen on here or especially if you really like their work then it's in the description down below and guys and girls again thank you and I'll see you next time bye whoa don't go anywhere news just in We've got three new things that are just coming to uh, into the news while I'm trying to finish off this edit. And a uh, big shout out again to Yak Face and also Kylo Collector for these ones. So, first of all, we've got a Snow Trooper, another exclusive, and um, it just looks like the old Snow Trooper. Doesn't even look com different articulation. Just looks exactly the same with this awkward cape, which yeah. Let's just carry on straight away. And we've got a rough image here from Mandalorian and it's the IG-88. Well, it's the IG-11 version. And uh, yeah, 
can't really tell much from it, but at least we know it's coming and there's a box of it. And also,